Whatever you want to do. With yeah, it. whatever. <laughs> Look at that. Upside down, honey. Ah. We're still pirates, but. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Nice. nice work. Okay. Are you getting ready? Yeah, we're getting ready. Okay. Like a new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Alright guys, look, we got, we got our, our tickets. Ridiculously large tickets. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the first leg of a very long trip back to the US. Yeah. And uh, we're kind of excited. This is a For sure, yeah. We're gonna be gone for about two months. Yes. And the main thing is that we're doing this really cool sail trip. It's yeah. a um, the Sailing Odyssey Festival. It's probably going to be the biggest sailing festival of the year. Well, let's just take a quick moment to let you know how this all came into fruition. A little over a year ago, we did a podcast interview with our mate Andy from the Ocean Cruisers podcast. And at one moment during the interview, he said, Hello, mate. I've got a well good idea. I want to create a festival for sailing enthusiasts to get together for a week of sailing in some of the best destinations of the world and line up a few sailing YouTube channels, world record holders, and boating badasses as the skippers. What do you think? You want to do it? Yeah. So that is actually a big reason why we are leaving Va and heading back to the States so that we can hop our way through to the BBIs to do this festival. Yeah, I think we have seven airports Hit. Oh my god. This one being the first. So first one, we're in Viva Oa. San Francisco. <laughs> Get <in> there. <laughs> Love it. Boston! Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico! Tortola! My voice is <laughs> Ooh, We have made it to the BBIs and we are just kind of getting everyone together, all the skippers and the boats. Been organizing yeah. that. It's a lot, I'm gonna yeah, tell you, it's, it's a lot. Nuts, so, man. Andy, well, you are doing a real good job. Yeah, you are. But uh, right now we are gonna go grab some food and some sandals. And then we're just gonna check out the Maybe boats. Maybe beer. Maybe a beer. Actually, yeah. we, need, we need a passage beer. We do need a passage beer. Oh my Damn. God. It should have been first and foremost. Right? All right, let's go. Okay. Man, I tell you what. Okay, we're fed, we're alive. Oof. Feel pretty good. Barely. <laughs> that was a long journey. Cheers. So now we go to a, like a little boat tour, like captain's meeting, basically, I think. Go through all the the ins and the outs of the boat. Yeah, and I think we get to see our boat for the first time, which is cool. Woo. So, that's the plan. It's not that much bigger. Yeah, so, all right. 
right. Here's our boat. <laughs> so we got a Sava 50 for the week. Yeah. Just, you know, five feet more. Yeah. This is our room. Holy cow, look at that. Good vibrations. Hey, very fitting name. It is. Whoa. <laughs> so we just kind of snuck in. Yeah. I mean, it's our boat for the weekend. Yeah, but we snuck in before the actual tour, tour. began. God, and... she's a beaut. Woo, look at this. Compared to what we are used to on our boat. Yeah. Val, is... we love you still. We do, we love our boat. She's perfect, but, but this is huge. I mean, this is Dude, quite so a bit fun. bigger. Something else we don't have? AC! <laughs> Feel that breeze, baby. Wow. All That's right. Nice. Check out the helm. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you think? Same, same, but a same. little bigger. Same, same, but a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wow. Home sweet home. Wow. Job. Yeah, this is us. It just enters wow. from out here, which is great for us. How many cabins you know? are on this one? So we've got one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. Cool. Yeah. Big boat, baby. So I'm not going to show too much of the walkthrough aside from like the beautiful salon and everything else like that because you guys watch our channel. You know what our boat looks like. Um, this is a very similar boat obviously it's Fontaine Pajot just slightly bigger lots more room a little bit more to it but overall like everything is so similar and Warren is just like I got it but as you know it's a charter boat so there's definitely some differences and things that uh, we should be informed of before we head out there so you know just little things but we got this there's gonna be 12 guests on this boat um i think we've got one of the larger boats i think dan and kika have the largest boat um which is really ironic because they have probably the smallest boat and now they are going to be sailing the largest catamaran in the fleet <laughs> i also want you guys to meet someone who i'm a super fan of and i'm like so pumped that she's here with us laura are you so excited hi hi i am laura decker and i am skippering this lagoon 50 uh, it's called jason seas for the yellow sea sailing Fest. laura decker if you don't know her is one badass sailor she was the youngest female to solo circumnavigate the world at 14. So, needless to say, we are amongst some of the most inspiring people ever is an understatement because I was pretty starstruck. She has also just arrived today and like just get like the whirlwind of information. So, is this your first time sailing a catamaran? Yeah. All right. We're here to help, girl. Um, yeah, I might need it. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I think she's got this better than anyone else here. All right, so we just finished our walkthrough and we're just going to take a moment to have a cup of tea before the chaos begins because it's going to be chaos. It's going to be a lot. I just can't believe there's like over 100 people part of this yes. and we have 12 of them on our boat alone. So this is our moment, honey. A moment yeah. to zen. Until... Everyone comes aboard, so in a matter of minutes, this is going to go down. Completely, yeah, yeah. completely crazy. A few and things that we did find out. We just learned that uh, today is the calmest day that we're going yeah. to see. Yeah. And right now it's blowing like 20 knots in the marina, so yeah. it's like... So apparently it's, it's going to be blowing like 30, out 35 out there. And we also found out for insurance purposes with the charter company, we're actually not technically allowed to sail over 25 knots. That's when it gets good. What did Eric Andreas probably? I know Eric's probably home. like, um, why did about? you call me to do this? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone's super excited. We're all so we're so pumped just to be with each other. Yeah. And obviously have all of the patrons and guests who have booked to come sail and so charter hard. with us. Paid a good fortune. Yeah. Here, here we go, guys. guys. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome! Woo! Woo! 
people. The first of our guests have arrived, and we quickly put them to work, no surprise there. Showed them their cabins for the week, said our how you do yas, hoisted the burgees, prepped the crew with the safety briefing, and then untied the dock lines for the first of many sails of the week around the British Virgin Islands. I mean, it's always such an experiment when you put a bunch of people that you've met for the first time on a boat, and it's great because everyone wants to help out. There's a lot going on, and it's day one, and I'm sure by the end of the week, everyone will figure out like what we do, how we do best. All right. Of course, Farley's got their sails at first, but we are coming in second. Four sails! Come on! Come on, Colin! <laughs> oh my god! How good! Doctor! Look at it just digging in. Awesome. Good? Yep. Yep. Love it. Any favorite part of the last 24 hours? Please don't tell me it was sailing off the hook. That's good. <laughs> All of it? It was probably sailing off yeah. the hook. Sailing off the hook. <laughs> yeah. Expert tutelage. Yeah. Right <laughs> Nicely done. Well done, you guys. Yeah, We've got awesome. the dream team, I help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do. We have the best group. I yeah. agree. We, we rocked this this morning, so. Yeah. yeah. It was For awesome. sure. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And now we're ahead of those guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah, they are back there. The what up, Colin? We're going to give them a rest of their money. <laughs> I don't know if it was the boat name or the crew in general, but we had good vibrations going on for the duration of the week. Are you guys having any fun yet? Woo! We sailed all over the BBIs. We had the opportunity to pass along the skills that we have come to learn over the years living aboard and watch the crew find more confidence in running the boat on their own. Oh, you're doing so great. Great. We got to meet and mingle with the legends themselves in the sailing world, and at the same time, really get to know our followers, who have been virtually with us on our adventures for five years now. And now, they get a little taste of the life we've come to love. Both the ups and the downs. What happened, love? And all the lessons that come with it all. put the dinghy again. So you're not the <laughs> only one? I guess not. It could happen to anybody. Uh, hey, this is a true test it, to Life. Yep, this is what happened. So it's still good. It's still good. It's still loaded. <laughs> ah, she's right as rain. Oh, you did it, Rob. That's awesome. That's why I did good it. job, I Rob. It to help us climb. Oh my God. <laughs> what started off as a whimsical notion to gather a hundred strangers for a week aboard boats is now a magical reality. This is where we realize, where passion reigns and the spirit of adventure combined knows no bounds. There's a common theme in all of us who said yes to this. 
We share a deep love for sailing, for the ocean, for the experience, and draw from the inspiration in each and every one of us. If you had one word for that moment that just happened, what would it be? Spectacular. Spectacular. Okay, no copy. Okay, then. Fabulous. Oh, that was fun. Exhilarating. <laughs> Exhilarating. Terrifying. Terrifying. What word would you say? <laughs> you got one? Fucking rad. I knew it. <laughs> In the company of strangers turned friends, we discovered the magic of shared experiences and the beauty of chasing our wildest dreams. The week was filled with daily races, regattas, shared stories, and unforgettable moments. From island to island we sailed, we laughed, and we discovered the true camaraderie of the open sea. And as the sailing Odyssey fleet navigated the waters of the BBIs, we tested our skills, pushed our limits, and reveled in the thrill of it all. Absolutely you yeah. can. Watch out though. Hey. I hate goodbyes! Yeah. <laughs> Got a quick question for you too. How was your experience this week? We can't swear, can we? <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Amazing. Good. Awesome. Yeah. We we got recommend I think we, 100 times over. Yeah, we, we got the best crew. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and the did. captains. You guys were rocking. <laughs> Thank oh, you yeah. for everything. I learned so much from you guys. Oh, awesome. so good. All right, where's the next trip? Tahiti. We're going to okay. come see you guys. Right. <laughs> it was pretty evident that the inaugural Odyssey Sailing Fest was a huge success. That before the event even came to an end, we decided that we're going to do it again. And this time, it will be in Greece. So for those of you who are interested in joining or maybe missed out on this one, here's your chance. We will see you in September. Click on the link in the description below for more details on cabin availability and the itinerary. We started the long journey back to Va by making a few pit stops along the way. First, stopping off in Florida to visit with more family and friends. Then on to California, where we were to repack our bags with just a few things for the boat. All right, so I realize now, maybe I ought to catch you guys up a little bit. Had a great time in the BVI's, what a trip, it was amazing. And uh, we have ended up in California. We have good friends that live in Ventura. And uh, for about a month now, we've been sending stuff to their house. And we have had a week layover here. And then today is the day we leave. We depart here and we go to, uh, back to Tahiti. You think we went a little crazy on the ordering of things? I mean, uh, <laughs> what are we supposed to do? We have six bags all weighing in at... Not all of them. That oh, last bag weighs 48 pounds. Okay, but the rest <laughs> of them weigh how much? 98. Oh! Mm, yeah. What are we gonna do? We're gonna manage. <laughs> well, those few things turn into a lot of things. And now, the next challenge is to see if we'll be able to haul it all back to French Polynesia. 
Getting supplies and parts for the boat in the remote islands of French Polynesia is hard enough. One, the availability of items is limited, and two, the price to pay if you do happen to find what you need is way more than what we'd like to pay. Okay. Yeah, the 101. Woo! We found Trevor again. <laughs> <laughs> so random. He just popped up in the most random places. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> oh. Trevor, are you sure you don't want to go back to Tahiti with us? <laughs> uh, when, you, when they don't let you take all these bags, oh, you're going to have to buy <laughs> okay. me a flight. Hey. Okay. So now you just got back to the States. But... Oh. Yeah. So. Of course, traveling with this many bags internationally is always a challenge and not only just challenging for Warren and I to carry it, but like just making sure that we can actually take this many bags. Warren is talking with the attendant about we were only allotted one bag and now we just have to add bags, but they're not giving us that option. So <laughs> hiccup number one. <laughs> okay, wow, that was a real close call. <laughs> Chris is one of her to... Yeah. Oh my gosh. It took an hour, but <laughs> these ladies were like super nice and yes. really helped us out. They so. did. Okay. Let's just see. Thank you again. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> oh. All right.